What's up guys? A brief message to our lovely audience. Um, we are looking for venture capital. That's right. Um, we've grown the company quite a bit since the early days, okay? Back when it was just, you know, three people in a basement and uh, sewage. I mean, the sewage was still around for season two. We were, just, you know, sort of off of the floor with shop backs and dumping it out the window. Um, we got quite a team now. And our numbers have gone up and things are going in a good direction. Um, but the sad reality of the situation is without uh, getting some seed capital, you're kind of rate limited at how big you can expand. I want bigger numbers, crazier productions, more people. Guys, for example, our whole on-site staff is hammered, not drunk, hammered, exhausted from, you know, three back-to-back -back days of banger content. And guess what? Tonight's going to be slow because of it. We literally, like, have to sleep. We're very sleep-deprived. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, the, the limit is, like, how much we can, where can we put our resources to expand? And there is there is a hard limit. Do You know, will the company continue to grow if we just use the same set over and over? Can we, we got to mix it up. We got to make it cool. We got to make things explosive, bombastic. Um, the community currently holds stake in a lot of the company. Um, and I'm not a lawyer or very educated on this topic, so I'm going to go ahead and say I might say something wrong here. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, if we get um, real seed money and, and raise another round from real big investors, um, not only will we make them money, but we will increase the value of the people. Who ah! Not now! Okay. Increase the value of what's already been invested by the people. We don't want to just do, um, and here's the thing, for this next round when we're trying to expand and, you know, maybe, uh, s you know, sell off 10% of the company or something like that, for example. You know, it's not your responsibility anymore. The people who got, who uh, put their money where their mouth is early, I want them to profit. It's, not, it's time for a real company to back us. Um, and we want meetings, man, we want meetings with real companies because we're running a, a real legit thing now. And, uh, you know, there's so many people who are employed by this, who get fed by this. I'm gonna build a real spa fake spaceship in a warehouse. Um, and there's gonna be a pilot seat with a throttle and they're gonna have a simulated space journey to Mars. It's gonna take 92 days. There's gonna be a real crew that lives in a simulated spaceship and that's their shuttle. And there's gonna be a docking door when they open that docking door, maybe it's another ship. Maybe it's an outside terrarium. We're going to see the next batch of contestants are going to go on a lunar mission and run into aliens. And they're going to battle, and uh, they're going to come across abandoned ships. We're going to take sets on wheels and push them and bring them in and connect to the next thing. It's going to dock, and it's going to open up, and I'm going to buy a used things that connect the airplanes. At when, when the airplane pulls into the, what's it called? Like, so you get on the airplane and it's like the collapsible thing. Like, that, it's going to dock, okay? And that set, there's going to be temporary set. You see what I'm saying? This is money. We got good ideas. We're going to keep bringing good ideas. Famous House of Banger. Season 2, it has its fans, man. That was awesome. That was crazy. Brutal. Only fans could make that happen. We're so thankful to that. Season 1 was great. Blood Games is expensive. I need you guys to, if you know somebody, if you know somebody with capital that wants to grow, hit the email, fans, paste the thing. This is where you need to email. I know we're gonna get spam, you're gonna troll, you're gonna send goatsy, whatever. That's fine, okay? My fault for putting it there. We gotta get bigger. We need to build a spaceship. I'm trying to build a spaceship, bro. I want a spaceship. I want contestants on a spaceship manning stations with turrets and VR. And you get to watch, and you get to see the, the, and then they're on suspended on strings. They have to go out the airlock, and there's a wire, and they have to weld the ship and fix it and shit. We're going to Mars, bro. And it's way cheaper than whatever Elon Musk is asking.
because it's fake and it's a set. I want to build a set. I want to build a set. Got to build a set. We got to do something crazy. I need you guys to vote in the poll for me this time because I lost last time. And two back to back might just have to, things don't improve here. So get this. Um, opening shot, there's just legs. It's like sand and just legs. And you see the, the top of the screen, you kind of see some metal thing. And then psh, steam comes out and psh, the lift, the stairs drop. And you just see four, six, whatever, a hundred, whatever it takes for you to vote for Space Pirates, contestants with their bags, their rucksacks, walking up the stairs into the spaceship, cut to this mechanical entrance room with med kits on the walls. They're like, whoa, I'm in a spaceship. And then the door opens, okay? This is not just a ship, it's a smart ship, okay? Because you're this rogue AI that's controlling the ship. You're like uh, Hal or whatever the f watch that Kubrick movie, the AI computer. Um, clickable zones, you click the door and for some, for XP or something, the door, you can control the door. You have to help these contestants do their tasks to get from room to room to um, just complete their tasks. There's some station with a bunch of little squares and one person just has to press the green buttons as they appear. And when they turn red, if they don't press them fast enough, the ship explodes, everybody dies. So one person always has to be on the button station, just keeping, preventing a, an explosion. So they have to cycle out and press the buttons, right? And then the, the captain is responsible for getting to Mars. And all sorts of things can happen on this journey. They can, uh, a hostile ship can force a docking. They can like get wrangled, okay? There's a high, there's a motor attached to the bottom of the ship that's in a uh, production warehouse. And it's this, big heavy plate that spins rapidly on a, on a motor and it will shake the whole ship and the cameras and everything and it's <laughs> turbulence or asteroid belt, meteor belt. Um, what the whole ship is shaking is captain. And he's like decelerating his throttle. Okay. One of the scenes, one of the streams is an interactable, clickable 3d view of this team ship and you can click and drag and look at the components and see real time this health status of the engine and how much fuel they have and um they have status of the engine and how much fuel they have and um they have the whole season is this linear time scale of day one to day 92 or whatever the fuck and they have to like you can see where they are and where, what galaxies they're passing through and then along that linear line, they have options. Do I want to, do we want to stop at the merchant ship that hasn't had a contact in three months? So we don't know if they're even alive or not, or do we want to stay forward? We, we could sell our Glorp Schlarp to get more fuel, but we could burn fuel taking this detour and put us back two days. And the whole time you're just watching this crew have this simulated journey. Um, it's like, uh, it's, it would feel like you're watching a real space mission going to Mars. They're going to Mars. They're dry. They're on their ship to Mars. You never know what the ship is that just docked to you. And then along the way, they could pick up like a cargo bay. That's literally a shipping container that gets attached to it. And then they get a new room, but what could be in the cargo bay? Uh, when they send out trash, their trash is launched into space okay? and, uh, so if they want to boot somebody from the ship, um, it's a, a maybe eliminations. Don't, it doesn't even need to be, there doesn't even need to be a host or like staffer. It's just these people. Um, but yeah, imagine some space, they're, they're driving, they're like, oh, there's a ship and they dock and you walk in and there's two groups of people kind of cautious of each other. They've literally never met before. Of course, ship two is all actors and ship one is all contestants, but they're like, what's going on? Hey, nice to meet you. Boom, it's a setup. We want your uranium. Um, it could be awesome. And it's achievable. If you help us get an investor, dude, fuck. Please, admin at fishtank.live. 
is where we need the email, okay? If you have a rich uncle, obviously your dad isn't rich, but somebody in your family is. Um, he, he works at a firm, blah, blah, blah. I already said this shit. Please vote. It's just, I, whether or not we get funding, I just need you guys to vote space space season because I got it we need to build a spaceship okay but we are gonna get funding because one of you is gonna help us and it only takes one hit to make this real we'll build a spaceship tonight we'll get started tonight that's how confident I am that one of you is gonna pull through for us I'll go ahead and start building it okay um, it is epic okay imagine the whole world is watching these these interstellar travelers on their mission and rooting for them because they got to get to Mars for some plot reason. They got to do it. It'll save the world. And it will feel just like it's a real mission. That's the thing. It will You will, you will feel so disconnected from these people. They're so far out there. It will feel like they're really out there. And that's what we're going to do. Um, we need... We got to do it, man. There will always be house seasons, but it's time to do something crazy. Help us get funding so we can do crazy like this. Um, is that enough begging? Admin at fishtank.live is the email. If you know an investor who wants to go to Mars for much cheaper than Elon's doing it, email it, please. That's what we need. It's time. So if you know somebody, hook it up. Uh, we're still going to do it. I'd rather do it next year than in five years, okay? Let's make it happen. Thank you. Vote space. Vote space pirates. Please vote space pirates. It mean a lot to me. Bye. Oh. All right. Picture. Opening shot. All right. High. High above. You see wood, and there's water on either side of the screen. Okay, <clears throat> we punch in, guy coming up with his bag, I'm on a pirate ship right now, okay, cut to the, the underside of the pirate ship, okay, there's beds, all right, where do I put my bag, he goes down to the bottom of the pirate ship, sets his bags down, he's looking around, okay, leaves, starts exploring the pirate ship, okay, we cut to wheel of the ship. All right, the guy puts his hands on the wheel. He starts turning it. He's exploring this pirate ship. Okay. And the ship will the ship will move with the ocean. Okay. I'm thinking maybe we acquire some kind of abandoned dam, perhaps. And uh, there's actual there's water physics. Okay. I don't know what character Mr. Goldstriker is going to play. Probably will have a peg, a peg leg, all right? And um, these people, these average people, okay, Mizzy, Ian, Peyton have eye patches and pirate hats, okay? Maybe there's like a parrot fish toy and you can send a parrot to be on somebody's shoulder. Maybe there's a sword fight fish toy, whatever. Okay, and they're at sea, okay, and we tell them, look, tomorrow you're going to have to deal with Captain Kidd, okay? Captain Kidd has found your boat's location, and he is coming with an army, okay? I don't know if they have too many can- maybe, they, maybe they're over-encumbered, and they need to get rid of some of their cannonballs, okay? Uh, maybe they want to... Go to the local merchant and trade their cannonballs in for swords or whatever. Whatever, okay? I want to build a pirate ship, okay? I want to do a pirate season. I'm very, very serious about this, all right? And production will sleep in the... We'll, we'll be in the slave quarters, okay? And we'll... I will sleep with Vance's feet in my face if it means that I get to live as a pirate okay we need to do a pirate season a, a spaceship season is going to be dope okay we're definitely doing it for sure there's no doubt but a pirate ship searching for buried treasure 
last shot of the season. Okay, they're digging. They found the treasure. They finally found the X. Okay, and they're digging and they find it. And who knows what's inside the chest? Okay, we need money. Okay, find us somebody who can give us money to build a pirate ship so we can do the pirate show, please. Please. Okay, if you know somebody, put us in touch with them. I will give you a million tokens. You will never have to pay for a TTS again if it means that we get to do the pirate season. Please. Okay? I'm not going to go on and on about the pirate because uh, I just, I need this. Okay? I need this. So, I don't care who it is. Find somebody who will fund the pirate season of Fish Tank and the space season of Fish Tank so we can uh, make the coolest ever, okay? I love Fish Tank, it's awesome. I love being in the house, it's cool, but uh, if I don't get to make a reality show on a pirate ship, I will go crazy. So do us this solid and uh, you will get a million tokens, okay? Pirate season, Captain Kid, Blackbeard, but parrot fish toy, uh, whatever, okay? I don't, I, I need this, please. Fucking email us. Send, send us somebody, send us Peter Thiel's email, spam Peter Thiel's email, at Elon Musk, whatever it takes, just get us, please, please, okay? Thank you for watching and supporting the show. Pirate season, think about it.